The new trailer for the Percy Jackson Disney Plus show finally released, and it's actually crazy. First and foremost, a cover of the song Riptide by Vance Joy is playing in the background of this trailer. Fantastic song choice. Plus, this cover is super dramatic, which fits the series. Now the first thing we see in this trailer is Percy entering Olympus through the 600th floor in the Empire State Building. This is a really cool shot showing how the mystical world overlaps the normal one with the godly door and the normal door opening for Percy to enter. Bro looks stunned. Then we get this shot of Ares. Finally after almost 20 years since the Lightning Thief released, the Ares vs Percy fight makes its way to the screen. What an incredible shot of Ares on the beach with the lighthouse in the back. And that sword he's got looks wicked. Next shot is the continuation shot from the last teaser trailer of Percy going into the Poseidon cabin. Of course it's empty. There's been no Poseidon kids for millennia. Also, what's with all these creepy bones hanging on the ceiling? Looks like Percy's gotta do some redecorating. Next, we got a shot at Camp Half-Blood on a bridge with some campers running across it. I don't believe there was a bridge at camp in the books, but you know what? I dig it. Probably gonna have some crazy battles here. Also, with the blue color on top of the helmets, it's clearly Percy's team for Capture the Flag. Next, we got a quick shot of Medusa. You can see the snakes in her hair. Very cool. Then we got Percy seeing Grover's goat legs for the very first time. Not only do the special effects of the legs look great, but this scene confirms that we are getting the Montauk scene. A scene where Percy and his mom go on vacation before they go to camp. It's a wholesome scene, so I'm stoked to see it on screen. Next, we got our trio together leaving Camp Half-Blood to go on their quest with Annabeth leading the charge, as she is the one who leads the quest. Also, I could be wrong, but could that be Talia's tree that they're passing? Next, we got a beautiful environment shot of Grover in his Camp Half-Blood shirt turning around looking afraid. Very on brand for Grover. Then literally right after after is Annabeth stabbing some monster, which I believe is the bus scene where the three Furies try to ambush the trio, right before they blow up the bus. Next shot is menacing. It looks like it's the St. Louis Arch scene where Percy has a showdown with the Chimera monster, and it looks terrifying. Also, the Chimera looks like it might be practical effects, which is very cool if it is, since I think practical effects mixed with CGI is the best way to portray the monsters. Then we got this next shot of Percy, Grover, and Sally trying to escape the Minotaur in the car, and dear lord, the Minotaur straight up T-bones the car. I don't think this happens in the book, but damn, it's brutal. Last shot we got is the trio all standing on the beach to face off against Ares for the final battle. Oh boy, it's time. Also in this shot, you can hear Zeus in the background played by Lance Reddick. Percy Jackson. We've been expecting you. And unfortunately, Lance passed away shortly after filming the show. Rest in peace, Lance. I'm super excited to see your portrayal of Zeus. Your voice sounds fantastic and menacing, my guy. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. A release date. Everybody, mark your calendars for December 20th, 2023. So yeah, I think this trailer is incredible. We get to see not only the scenes, but see what the overall filming looks like. The show has such a unique style that I genuinely can't compare it to anything else that I've ever watched before. If every season of this show looks like this, then that's awesome. Suffice to say, I'm very excited because the world is not ready for the impact this show will have. It's time for Percy Jackson to take over the world.